is a commandment of Christ for all those who would confess and claim to be a Christian. But many people today who claim themselves to be Christians get upset when they actually hear Christians preaching the gospel. A couple of reasons for that could be this. Number one, you're unconverted. Because nobody gets upset when they hear the gospel preached if they're really a Christian. They will celebrate that fact, they'll encourage that reality, and they'll be inspired to do it themselves. Or number two, you are in complacency. You are not doing what Christ has commanded you to do, and that's to, to share and spread the gospel. See, Christ doesn't give us the option whether we have a choice. He commands, because he's a king, he commands all men all women everywhere that they're to go into the world and they're to proclaim Christ, to declare his name to a dying and perishing and apostate world. In Psalms 96, it says, declare the glory of God to the heathen. This idea today, what you're seeing today, what, you, what you're hearing us proclaim, this declaration is simply that, that we are going into all the world and we're declaring the glory of God to what the Bible would call a heathen. What is a heathen? It's not just your mom and dad call you when you're, when, you're, when you're causing trouble, but a heathen are those who are outside the Christian faith, those who have not trusted in Christ, those who have gone their own way, those who are living in continual rebellion against the God that they know exists. And we declare to you today that you can be made right with God, but there's only one way that can happen. It's not through religion. It's not through Hail Marys. It's not through rubbing Buddha's belly. But it's through trusting in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. See, it's the fear of God that comes over us when we understand not only the reality of our sin, but the reality of God's character and His holiness. Imagine this, if you were to die right now, and you take your last breath, and you stand before God, and you're called into account on that great day, and you stand before God, how are you going to plead? Are you going to say, God, I'm a good person. I've done good things. But the Bible says that that will not get you into heaven. That will not merit, merit or qualify you into the holy of holies. But the Bible says that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, he was 100% God and 100% man. He lived a perfect life. He was a mediator between God and man. And the Bible says that he went to a place called Golgotha, the place of the cross, the place of the skull. And there he hung upon that cross and he bore the full weight of the sin of the world, the sin of his elect, there upon the cross. He bore the full weight of God's wrath in place of his people. How can we pass by and hear the gospel being preached and yawn and laugh and giggle and say, you know what, not for me, not today, maybe another day. But who says you've got another day? Who says you've got another breath? Who are we to predict our own future? The Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Do you understand this today? This reality that you're going to stand before God. You see, today when you're breathing and you're living and you're having fun, you can laugh at this message. You can have fun today. You can giggle and laugh and, and tease and, and, and joke about these things. But you know what? There's going to come a day and an hour where all the jokes and all the giggling and all the laughter comes to an end. And you are sobered up and you stand there and you face God. And at that point, the Bible says that you will either end up in heaven for all eternity or you'll go to the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. God forbid it would happen today. Hear the gospel being preached today, the good news that you can be saved from the wrath of God. You can be saved from your sin. You can be saved from the sins of this world. Turn to Christ that you can live. Trust in the only begotten one, the sacrificial lamb of God who put himself upon the cross and he said no one takes my life from me it's i who give my life it's i who die and raises it up christ is a sovereign lord he's a sovereign king and i'd appeal to you today all joking aside 
for just one moment out of your life, you can just stop and sober up and examine yourself under the preaching of God's Word today and make sure you're right with God. Make sure you are right with God today. Understand that you're not right with Him. You've offended Him. And His eternal wrath will fall upon you on that terrible day. And I pray it doesn't. I appeal, this is why we're out here today. We're not out here so you can just watch us throw a spiritual fit upon a stool. We're out here because we know that God exists. And we know someday you will stand before Him and give an account for your life. Every thought, deed, and word will be exposed on that day. Every lie, every blasphemy, every lust, every slander, every gossip, everything will be revealed. God forbid you didn't repent of your sin when you hear the chance today. It is a blessing today that you hear the gospel. God has made a way that you hear the gospel again. You get to hear the gospel. This is how much God loves his people, that he would send a preacher to you today, that you'd hear the word preached. God forbid you'd ignore it, wander off, and die in your sin. Today is a day of salvation. Fear the Lord. Turn to Christ and live. God bless.